Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. So in this video I would like to explaining about cooling curve for off eutectic binary alloys. So in my previous lectures for cooling curve for eutectic binary alloys then before that cooling curve for binary alloys. Now in this that will be the some changes of of eutectic binary alloy. So let's take a binary alloy as a metal A and metal B. And eutectic means liquid phase that will be converting into two different solids. So here that will be the S1 plus S2 at constant temperature or you can say eutectic temperature. So by the cooling you should gain uh, S1 plus S2 and by the heating once again it will be into the liquid. So here that will be the 100% liquid of A and B. So which will be making a two different solid S1 plus S2. Or you can say both the solids that will be insoluble with each other. So this is the case of metal A and B which will be having a 100% solubility into liquid state but both are insoluble into the solid state. So let us start with the cooling curve for off eutectic binary alloy. So for the cooling curve let's take a x axis that will be representing as a time and y axis that will be representing as a temperature in degree centigrade. So now according to the metal A and metal B so we already discussing at about the melting point of both the metals of A and B so it will be having a hundred percent liquid phase. So let's take a point which will be more than the melting point of both the metals. So just you can see this one is a point that will be more than melting point of A and B. So that A point it will be above the melting points. So here that will be the 100% liquid phase of A and B. So now cooling curve so that will be the constant cooling process for binary metal alloys. So this alloys or can say liquid phase it will be start to solidify. So just you can see. So now this point it will be the B point. So here in the case of of eutectic binary alloy just below the melting point of A and B it will be start to solidify. So B point that will be temperature at which the solidification process is being started. So just you can see starting of solidification at point B and once again from point B the whole the compositions of A and B that will be up to the point C or you can say at here. So this point C or you can say temperature at which all the liquid phase of the A and B which will be converting into two different solids. So that will be nothing but it will be called as a eutectic temperature. So that dotted line so it will be representing as a eutectic temperature. So as we are discussing at eutectic temperature all the liquid phase it will be converting into two different solids. So for A to B which will be 100% liquid at B it will be the starting point of the solidifications. So from B to C that will be liquid plus solid. So what happens just you can concentrate this is the important point here. 
so here in the region of b to c so it will be the starting point of the solidifications on rest of the others it will be in the form of liquid so it forms liquid plus solid so this solid it will be either from solid 1 or either it will be from solid 2 so generally that will be depends upon the majority of the constitution of the elements or you can say which metals either it will be a or b which will be having a higher concentrations generally this metal it will be solidified first so here either it will be s1 or s2 but it will be the starting point of solidifications that's why one of the metal of a and b it will be solidified so it will be called as a s and remaining it will be in the form of liquid either that will be s1 or s2 but in the region of b2c it will be formed liquid plus solid so b point that will be the starting point of the solidification and up to the c so up to the c one of the metals either it will be a or b i already explained you okay, which metal that will be having a higher concentrations that will be first solidified so this time it will be for this metal so all that s1 or s s2 it will be solidified up to the point c so here just assuming that first that will be the s1 it will be solidified so liquid plus s1 so s2 that will be remains into the liquid so up to the point c one of the metals it will be completely solidified and others it will be in the form of liquid so just you can see after c what happens so that will be act as a eutectic temperature as we are discussing at eutectic temperature all the liquid phase now it will be converting into two solid so here liquid phase as present then from b to c one of the solid is present so we are assuming that s1 it will be for b to c or you can considering as s2 it might be possible any one of s1 or s2 and remaining and that will be s2 so from point c to point d all the liquid phase that will be converting into two different solid then what happens at point number d that will be the formation of the two different solids so from the eutectic temperature to the room temperatures what happens just you can see it forms two different solids so s1 plus s2 or you can say 100% solid of s1 and s2 because both the metals of a and b which will be insoluble with each other for the formation of the new solid solutions so just you can take for the different phases it will be exist between the different regions for a to b that will be 100% liquid for b to c one is act as a liquid and that will be the starting point of the solidifications so liquid plus solid that solid it may be s1 or s2 depends upon the weight percentage of concentrations and from c to d that will be some of the liquid phase either it will be for s1 or s2 depends upon the first solidification process then constant temperature or you can say at eutectic temperature it will be converting into two different solid so at point number d that will be the end point of the solidification process so end point of solidifications so after d to e or you can say room temperature it will be formation of two different solids so just now we will see the microstructure of the different regions let's say so just you can see at a region a to b so just you can see this region so as we already discussing it will be the 100 percent liquid of a and b so it will be a totally liquid phase and both the metals of a and b 
which will be having a hundred percent solubility with each other so it will be hundred percent liquid both having a hundred percent solubility now talking about B2C regions so here one of the metals it will be start to solidify so point number B that will be the starting point of solidifications and we are assuming that this S1 it will be solidified first so at B point or you can say is this temperature it will be the starting point of the solidifications so it will be the formation of the tiny particles or you can say called to be a nuclei so nuclei it will be starting from S1 because we are assuming that it might be possible S2 so depends upon the concentration of A and B and rest of the others still it will be in the form of liquid so just you can see some particles it will be solidified and rest of the others it will be the liquid so here at the region B2C it will be the liquid plus solid right now just you can concentrate at point number D so this point so what happens that will be the end point of solidification process so let us see the microstructure at point number D so just you can see at point number D that will be the total two different solid phase of S1 and S2 so this orange that will be representing as S1 and green that will be S2 so at your room temperature or you can say into the solid state both the metals A and B which will be insoluble with each other so after point D up to the room temperature or you can say E point so it will be considering as a room temperature so just that would be the refinement of the this structure you can say grain structure of S1 and S2 and rearrangement of the structure so it will be makes a finer structure so just you can see the structure at room temperature So just you can see S1 and S2. So this orange that will be considering as S1 and S2. So at room temperatures once again it will be the two different phases it will be existing. So now this cooling curve it will be validated by the Gibbs phase rule. So let us see the Gibbs so we are using the modified Gibbs rule and that will be P plus F that will be C plus 1 because at constant pressure processing. So we are using the modified Gibbs phase rule for the different region of AB, BC, CD and DE. So let us start from so let us start with region AB with modified Gibbs phase rule. So P that will be the phase it will be existing. F we need to identify. C that will be the binary. So it means 2. So let us start with the Gibbs phase rule. So for A to B regions P plus F that will be equal to C plus 1. So P that will be the phase so A to B that will be the 100% liquid so considering as a single phase so P is equal to 1 plus F C that means binary alloy so you can say A and B so 2 plus 1 so F is equal to 2 for A to B regions so just you can note down F is equal to 2 that means what temperature is being changing with respect to time and compositions of A and B that will be also changing without changing the liquid phase because throughout A to B it will be only formation of 100% liquid so two variables it will be going to be changed without changing the liquid phase now talking about B2C region this one in case of the off eutectic binary alloy 
so for P so just you can see liquid plus solid so that will be the single solid either it will be S1 or S2 so P is equal to 2 plus F C always that will be 2 because of the binary plus 1 so finally you will get F is equal to 1 so for B2C region F is equal to 1 so F is equal to 1 means temperature is only changing without changing the any other parameters. So liquid plus solid phase that will be remains into liquid plus solid phase because the any other metals which will be in the form of liquid and one metal it will be in the form of solid. So either S1 or S2 it might be S1, it might be S2, but one of these two, one it will be into liquid and another that will be into solid. So only temperature is being dropped down for B2C regions, but it never changes the phase. So in the between BC, it will be only formation of liquid plus solid. Now talking about C2D regions and that will be the important regions. So just you can see C to D. So from B to C that will be the liquid plus solid. So either it will be S1 or S2 and remaining that will be the S2. So C D that will be also representing as a constant temperature phase change process or you can say constant temperature liquid it will be converting into two solid. Or you can say at eutectic temperature liquid it will be solidified into two different solid so here that will be the liquid plus solid from B to C and one more solid it will be added so up to the point D or you can say end point of the solidification process all the liquid it will be converting into two different solids so you will find in between C to D three different phases liquid plus solid 1 and solid 2 so three phases plus F C 2 plus 1 so finally you will get F is equal to 0 that means what constant temperature solidification process but both the metals A and B which will be insoluble with each other that's why it will be the formation of two different solid if both the metals A and B that will be having a hundred percent solubility into solid state so it will be only forms the single solid so that kind of matters we already discussing into the different theories so for CD it will be the F is equal to 0 it means constant temperature solidification process so that temperature it will be representing as a eutectic temperature once again for region D to E so F is equal to 2 because of the two different solids so F is equal to 1. Why? Only the temperature it will be dropped down from the eutectic temperature to the room temperature without changing the solid phase. So here solid phase that will be the two different solid of S1 and S2. So this cooling curve for off eutectic binary alloy that will be also validated by the Gibbs phase rule. So I hope you understand this theory also. So if you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.